Remember, remember the 5th of November. Welcome to Bonfire Night. This is a video of um, a bonfire on Bonfire Night and this is a voiceover of a uh, bonfire I had earlier uh, on Bonfire Night. Uh, so this video is uh, about Bonfire Night and the 5th of November and why the where Bonfire Night uh, came from, its roots and his, in history, in British history uh, and why it should be remembered and why it's been forgotten and, and the significance, the, the most important significance of uh, Bonfire Night and the consequence of uh, unbelief, uh, hellfire, the lake of fire ultimately if you leave this life and you're unredeemed and the significance for law and order and morals and the knowledge of who who the enemy of the world is, who the enemy of Christ is, who the enemy of God is, who the enemy of freedom and liberty, justice and mercy and human decency and who those enemies are. And those enemies are simply the Roman Catholic Church, the Popists, the Papists, the Jesuits, the Masons, the Mormons, the Protestants, all these people that are yoked to Roman Catholicism, whether that's uh, whether by compromise, whether by agreement, whether by um, ignorance, whether, whatever reason, whatever reason being that that body is yoked and joined to the powers of the Roman Catholic dominance are harlots and uh, Rome is the whore, the mother of all harlots. The Church of England is a harlot, the Jehovah's Witnesses are harlots, the Anglicans are harlots. Everybody in the ecumenical movement churches together are members of the harlot. And the, um, the Pope believes and is always held to and will, will not change that he is supreme on earth. He rules heaven and he rules earth. That's every nation, every person, every government, he is uh, supreme over them. That's what the Pope, that's what this Jesuit Pope Pinocchio holds to. But the world in its ignorance and unbelief believes that the Pope is the face of Christianity. He's a heretic, he's a imposter, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He teaches that all the heretics who anybody that holds to the belief in salvation other than outside uh, other than the Catholic Church anything outside of the Catholic Church are deemed as heretics are cursed the Pope is the most evil man on the face of this earth he is the Antichrist he is um, instead of Christ he is claiming to be instead of Christ and his word is above the word of God this is why he hates the King James Bible this is why the truth is airbrushed over this is why the King James Bible is under attack this is why Christianity has a bad name this is why the gospel has been buried by uh, corrupted machinations of these evil Jesuits who play both sides of the fence and corrupt that which is good. They infiltrate every good, they've infiltrated every Protestant uh, rooted um, establishment and corrupted it and it's all today yoked in one lump. The world is yoked in one lump 
in the unbelief and the most dominant figurehead of that, that lump is the Catholic Church. It's their power and the powers behind it basically own, they are the um, circus ground owners. They lease the tent, they lease the seats, they lease the stalls, they lease the pieces, they allow things to happen. They are the investors, they are the money, and it's done through many different hands. But at the head of that, the influence of the head of that is Satan and his chief component is the Pope, the imposter. And uh, this is the significance, this was why this act, the Bonfire Act, um, the uh, observance of the 5th of November Act 1605, which was uh, originally called the Thanksgiving Act, was passed by King James and this court, his legal court, it was a legal act of Parliament to commemorate. It was a commemoration, commemoration act, it wasn't a celebration of fireworks and um, parties and hot dogs, it was to commemorate the failure of the treasonous act. It was commonly called the Gunpowder Treason, Treason Day. Gunpowder Treason Day was what Bonfire Night was originally called by the public and the people of those, that, that century, of that time, because it, it thwarted the Papist power and dominance and belief that they own everybody. They, they own the King of England, they own the King of Europe, kings and queens of Europe, they own America, they own all the colon, colonised countries. They, they work through, infiltrated all these governments, corrupt them, compromise them and run them from Rome. They run them through power and dominance and um, infiltration, connections, um, what's called mach machinations. Um, they set up um, it, 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 the model of the Catholic Church it, it is uh, it, it, all, all models of iniquity of the world order of establishment are modelled on the, on the Catholic Church. It's uh, the same order that the uh, Mormon Church. It's a similar order. Um, the Illuminati was started by the Jesuit order all these um, secret Gnostic rituals and rites will come from that mother of harlots, that order of men, that order of wicked priests. They don't, they're not even Christian, but the world doesn't know it. The world doesn't believe, therefore they don't see the significance of November the 5th. And um, I invite anybody to not ignore November the 5th, ignore it at your peril because it, it, it commemorates an, a significant point in history, but more importantly, um, these were believers in Jesus Christ. Um, do not ignore your salvation, ignore that, your, your peril, because you will be eternally lost. Um, so, I had this bonfire tonight, this was just the practical reasons to, um, and some old uh, cuttings and rubbish I wanted to get rid of but I thought I'd make a video on November the 5th and why we have bonfire night and, and why today the significance, the knowledge has been lost and even I was very green. I grew up in the 70s and we'd, we'd done penny for the guy, it was a tradition and um, as a Christian, as a born again Christian um, I don't follow tradition myself, but a uh, Christian has liberty, so as long as you're not holding to it as a, um, a teaching or a, it, it's compulsory because it's not, but it, it's okay to commemorate, you know, celebrate and commemorate uh, holidays and, uh, and days like um, Bonfire Night. Um, I personally don't commemorate Christmas because it's a Catholic. Catholic rooted pagan 
tradition to discredit Christ rather than highlight the uh, the gospel and uh, salvation and rep repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, everything in Hollywood is Roman Catholicism. Yeah, ev everything you see is uh, on the mainstream media it has the face of the Ro Roman dualistic, Gnostic, works-based philosophy behind it. It's, it's all to discredit, it's all anti-Christ and against against all liberty and freedoms because the Pope wants to dominate and bring the whole world into subjection. And any, any power or force or body on the earth will, who, who has that same notion will be serving this hand, whether that's ambiguously or by design. And these powers rob all people of their freedoms and it corrupts. And it is the uh, world has gone too far and um, judgment will will come. I'm going to read a scripture that I, I, I found recently. But I mainly want to do this uh, video as a thanksgiving really as, as a thanksgiving offering to remember uh, to remember God, God to remember God the Father to remember the Lord Jesus Christ to remember the saints to remember the gospel to remember all those people that were murdered by the Roman Catholic Church and its philosophy its heretical teaching its robbing of what Christianity is in the face of uh, in the face of Christianity and corrupting it and perverting it and leading millions of people away and killing all the people that uh, disagree with it whether they're believers or not spending lives just for its own delusions of grandeur and power that it believes and claims to be uh, the, ruling, the ruling head the chief seat and the power and throne and principality of this earth that is completely of Satan um, and it, it is the the chief seat of this world under Satan and that is the truth it dominates um, all principalities it, it, it corrupts everything um, and the world in their unbelief have allowed it to get a foothold the, uh, the original uh, commemoration was passed to, remem to remind all forever. That was the, that was the lawful wording. Um, if you'd like to look it up, it's on Wikipedia. Uh, this is where I got some of this information. If you look up the gunpowder plot, this was um, a group of Jesuits and cons Catholic conspirators, and it was led by... Um, believed to be led by a Jesuit bishop or a Jesuit higher with higher authority that was sort of leader of the whole pack, um, uh, serving the uh, machinations of the head of, of the Roman order, which was to kill King James the First, who was a, a a Christian, a Protestant by denomination. I'm not a Protestant or a Puritan or a, I'm just a Bible believer and I don't believe in church and state. I believe you're saved and you're saved by grace in, in faith alone in Jesus Christ and you're adopted into the church body and there's no, the church body is not a group of men, it's not an order of men, it's a spiritual body who uh, with the, the church are the in, indwelling um, people of God, where God indwells uh, their natures, they've been born again, they've been saved, and God indwells them, their bodies are living temples, we are the temple of the living God, whereas mankind and religion teaches that church is an established order of men, where this is unbiblical, this is unscriptural, and this is untrue, because the world doesn't believe it's yoked itself to this wicked 
evil system and they dominate everything. They just put on a different face, a different hand and put their hands in this 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 component and then they control that component. They got their fingers in all pies. Uh, the, um, the devil runs this world. The um, scriptures are clear in the end. The word of God is clear who the powers of this uh, earth are, who the dominances have been since the beginning of the gospel and the gospel after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel was spread, the enemy uh, um, ultimately is the devil, is Satan, but the chief powers and principality are Rome and the, the world's powers, the world's dominant, the most dominant um, families, the most dominant groups are is, is developed into the Roman Catholic Church and they um, hijacked what Christianity is in, and then gave it another face and another meaning and it put the world off it and it, it, it's almost a deliberate twist on what the truth was from the beginning and that, that truth and word was preserved in the Holy Scriptures, this why King James preserved. Um, this is what this act was for, because if the King James and the law and what a Protestant hold to is that a believer is saved through faith alone and uh, there's nothing to do with orders of men or priests or popes or bishops it's solely between the believer and God and that the church is free and separate from the world and uh, um, the heart of the believer is governed by Christ by Christ's heart and will and mind which is love thy neighbour by as thyself love God, put God first and love thy neighbour as thyself if you, as, as you've been loved and do unto others as you'd have them do, you know, do, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Treat, uh, treat others how you'd like to be treated. So you, you, you become a just measure because you have a just measure within you, so you can justly measure how to live. You, so, you self-govern through that which is governor, who is Christ, who is love, who is God. And that's what the world wants to be, what the devil wants to rob the world of. That's what the Catholics want to rob all nations of, that freedom, that liberty. And Great Britain had that liberty, although it was chained in law because we, we're sinful. And so we had to have laws, um, man's laws, to, um, to fight against evil. And some of those laws were just, just laws by just men who made just measurements and just laws and uh, some of those laws um, become corrupted and abused. Uh, the, the act was appealed in uh, 1859, it was established in 1605 to be remembered forever, to be commemorated forever, to remember who the enemy are, who the enemy are of, of all nations, liberty and freedom and justice and law. And, and and Christians, born again, Bible-believing Christians who hold to the Word of God. Uh, this is the enemy, the, the, the Catholic Church is the, the sole enemy to all Christians and, and Jews. It hates them, it wants rid of them because the Catholic Church is the son of Satan. It, it, the Pope is the most evil, um, devil on, on the face of the planet and the current Pope's a Jesuit. So we're at, the, we're at a point where judgment is, is coming. I'm, I'm going to read um, Psalm 90, 92, I read this recently. And this just struck me. Um, like, oh, it's just, you know, the, a sign of the times. You, you see these uh, incrementally how things are unfolding if you're looking up, if you're looking up for the Lord and the Saviour, and you're looking at the, the state of the world and the, you know, like uh, testing the current and um, just observing. Um, and I read this scripture, uh, no, 
Psalm 92 verse 7. I'd like to read the whole thing while I'm pushing for time. Uh, when the wicked spring is the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So, uh, the Lord Jesus said, um, you know, look for Israel to look out for the signs of the, the this is the, of the second coming of the, of the uh, after the great tribulation when the uh, and is um, also look out for the signs to look up for the, the saints to look up for the, to it, those, those who go through the great tribulation to look out for the uh, to, the signs and the he used the uh, analogy of the fruit of the, the leaves dropping off the tree and then you see that autumn is uh, coming you know the leaves are withering and uh, the tree is reserving its energy and it's going dormant so it drops its leaves uh, so it's sort of kind of like um, in the world you see these uh, these things happening, you know, constantly, these constant lies, these con the creeping forward of the enemy, the Brexit, the fingers crossed behind their back, and all, all, all the games, all the two-faced lies and games that the world plays, just to string the cart along the route that has been planned by the devil and Peter, and which will happen eventually because of ignorance, and, and that's what brings judgment. Um, so, uh, verse 7, when the wicked spring is the grass, so when, when, every, when the whole world's in unbelief and then that unbelief starts dominating and, and the moral standard is brushed over and ignored and then man's own moral standard is put in its place and that, that is completely moralless and, and completely vain and uh, it leads the whole world astray and the whole world is wicked spring, springing up as grass it's, it's becoming ripe ripe for um, judgment uh, world judgment at the end the final judgment because the Lord, you know, the Lord, God can only tolerate so much and the world can only take so much so the Lord is mercifully going to allow the wicked to judge the wicked by going so far and then it's going to be brought to the head. Now um, it's then, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So there come a time where it's going to be final. And I believe that's what that scripture is referring to. It's, 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 God judges on a daily basis. If we um, if we look in Hebrews, it says, um, oh, "After death, the judgment." So we're judged constantly. God is judged by His holiness, by His standard, and by His Son. So God has already judged. He's already made a judgment because He's already eternally just. Uh, just. So, when a person dies, if they die in unbelief and sin, they've already been judged by God who is holy, so that they are found unholy and sinful and lost, which is why the Lord died to save all mankind. But God judges in a person's lifetime. So, the world in unbelief is judged on a daily basis. People are it's a fearful thing, it's the most frightening thing to comprehend, even putting your hand in the fire, imagine being put in that, your hand and being burnt, and burnt. That, that's an awful thought. Think of the Catholic Church, it burnt people alive for believing something other than its own doctrine, that it, it persecute, it uses others to persecute, so it can bring all into subjection to Rome, and that has is, is not changed in since the 12th century, it's always been its uh, doctrine, I might be wrong there, 
Uh, the Jesuit oath is to swear allegiance and to, by any means necessary, to serve that end and to serve the Pope solely. The Jesuits have authority over all the Catholic leadership. They are a law unto themselves. They're like the. This is where Hitler's secret police come from, and and all all the communist. Um, orders of men, it is all modelled on, it's the same people, it's the same puppeteer, you, you put in his hand in different gloves, and, it, and all these isms and schisms and it will, will, uh, have been put on the fire by Christ. He put away all these things by the simple gospel truth, that you can receive the wisdom and love and knowledge of God and be saved. Today, God's eternal, you can be saved forever and a day and receive that forever and a day today through faith through repentance and that will give you that change of heart that uh, that, that love that grace that has been afforded all in unbelief and um, Jed, I, I honestly believe we'll, be, we'll, we'll come into that end time and I wanted to highlight that and, and how we are in Great Britain today. Who, uh, if, you to, if you were to ask people the significance of the 5th of November, and I was in complete ignorance, like I was saying earlier, we, I used to do penny for the guy, but to me, my focus, focus was on the money. Oh, we can beg and get money by sweets. I was completely ignorant, completely selfish, completely ignorant. But um, at least I re at least I had that experience to look back on and remember. And we had um, there's quite a few children on our estate, and I uh, lived on a council estate. And there's probably about I, over the estate, there's probably about 25 children, um, uh, ranging. Um, probably no more than so the eldest when the eldest reached so the eldest being 15 I don't suppose there's any more uh, the youngest would have been you know um, a few toddlers but it was quite a, quite a range of people and um, we used to meet up the swing park and it was on um, in, in a back of um, a private estate and it had like a, a diamond shaped grass area which was banked and then a slope in down to a level area where the playing fields were but the point I'm, I'm making is that one of the people on the estate, a young guy, his name, I can't remember his name, Kevin, Kevin Dooley I think his name was. He was, I think he was like a scout, good guy, sort of, and he went by the book sort of person. And he had the responsibility, and I don't know where this comes from, whether it came from the council or whether it was a local organised through the club scouts or something like that, or through the church, I don't know. But he had permission to build a bonfire. And everyone was allowed to build the bonfire, all the children on the estate were allowed to build the bonfire and take part and guard it from being prematurely burnt down and you know, the, 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 the menial jobs were dished out and the responsibility and then you know, to, to look after it for wildlife uh, like hedgehogs and to up until the day it was bonfire night, you know, you know bearing as long as it didn't rain or so the bonfire was built it, local children were encouraged to gather the wood and build their own bonfire and, you know there's no health and safety rules but there was no adults to supervise us it was lit it was our bonfire and we lit it and, it was, and, and it was all quite orderly I, I never had any I never remember any problems there's no fireworks it was just a bonfire and you burnt your guy and uh, <laughs> That was the point, is the meaning has been lost and the meaning has changed. But the original meaning of the act was a first it was a religious act, passed as a, a religious act to, to, to hold a 
commemorative service of the fading and to read our um, sermons in, in, and pray, to give thanks to God, to be thankful for the failure and, 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 and um, the grace of God for the saving of the king who, whose life was spared and his old house, his, his wife, his children, his court. It was to blow up all of them, the whole plot. If you read the gunpowder plot, it was to blow his whole house up. And this was the Catholic Church trying to blow up an English Protestant king. And that's why we, our, our queen, holds, supposedly holds to that oath that was passed to speak out and have absolutely nothing to do with Romanism, have nothing to do with the Roman Catholic Church and to speak out against popery, to remind the public, the lawful citizens of Great Britain and the UK of the, the dangers of Roman Catholicism and its consistent machinations against all's liberty and freedom. This is what the act was passed for, to remember, to commemorate. And the king allowed the public to have bonfires. That was all. As long as they were orderly and civilised, the public could lawfully have a bonfire and commemorate the act. Up in the uh, world, in the religious realms, the church realms, they would hold a service and they would r remind each other of the dangers and, and the heresy of Roman Catholicism, of Jesuitism. This was the tradition. Then that tradition, like all traditions, become, that's why I don't hold tra traditions, because the truth gets lost. The real meaning, the heart of the matter gets lost and then it gets commercialised, it gets robbed, it gets um, muddied, it gets watered down and it was traditional to, uh, the tradition become um, bias and it was um, anti-Catholic and uh, about burning effigies and they used to burn effigy to, that's where Penny for the Guy come from. And the, um, Guildford, there was a um, contention in Guildford apparently, if you read the uh, Gunpowder Plot and the um, Bonfire Night and Guy Fawkes Night and read up on on the history and the tradition, you'll get a, a far greater insight and lead into where, where it was corrupted and where it went wrong. And the public took it took root, and it became contentious. There was this uh, left-right paradigm of us and them, which it, which I don't hold to because that's unscriptural. That's uh, it went a bit too far. But that wasn't that was never the true intention of Bonfire Night. It was simply to commemorate uh, the failing act. Uh, Personally, I'm going to use it to burn rubbish in the garden and remember and be thankful to God just that, you know, every day, but this night to remember King James, what King James done, he preserved uh, whatever said about King James, whatever King James believed, he, whatever, you, whatever version of history you believe, I, I trust in the Word of God and I trust God the Father and I trust the Lord Jesus Christ. I trust the Holy Spirit. I trust the Word of God, and, and doing uh, trusting God first lead, led me the other way around to discover that the, the King James is preserved. It's lawfully pres preserved. It's divinely preserved, and it's the only Word of God that has a continuity of in, in corruption and going all the way back to the original text and the original gospel. And it's preserved, and if it wasn't preserved, I wouldn't know that I'd received the word. It, it, it's, a, it, it's a witness of God, it's a faithful standard and a preserved word, and that's what I'd like to remember on, on this night. And the people that I was ignorant of as a child, um, I'm not going to burn effigies, but I'd, I'd just like to burn the ideas of 
um, Roman Catholicism and Jesuitism and Gnosticism and Calvinism and Communism because they're all machinations of the devil. They're all against Christ, they're all anti-Christ. And I want to highlight this um, commemoration to remember the enemy, the true enemies of mankind. And that's these devil, these devils, religious devils who claim to be Christian. Uh, and the greatest imposter is uh, Pope Francis, the Roman Catholic Church. And all the sisters, all the harlots, the, um, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the, you know, the Queen of England, uh, the compromise that uh, the Queen of England is making. And, in bed uh, with Rome and allowing the um, ecumenical movement joining the Church of England to the Roman Catholic Church. Believe, you know, wishy-washy, believing that oh, we can all forget the past and forgive and all hold hands in, in love and unity ain't gonna wash. You need to be baptised and born again and forgiven of your sins, past, present, future and you have to have absolutely nothing to do with the world and anything to do with man and the flesh um, and come out of those systems so this is an outreach to anyone who professes to be a Christian and yoked to anything to do with uh, Christianity today in an organised sense with its um, it, its leadership and its colours and its um, content martialised um, authority o over the believer, hedging up the believer and yoking it to a system that's corrupt to the most evil spiritual body on the planet and that's the Roman Catholic Church and all the blood and all the lives that have been burned. You know, they, they would quickly burn the Christian if they got into power, into temporal power again. They, you know, whether privately, you know, secretly hunt and torture people, and privately and publicly they would execute you. You know, people to, who help bring forth the, the translation of scriptures were burnt publicly in the state. Whole whole communities of Christians were murdered. Um, all, all the. Uh, Oh, the Crusades were done in the name of Christianity. It was all the Pope creating and fomenting the problem to mop it up. It's all, it's all the same as World War One, World War Two, the Twin Towers, Grim, you know, Grenfell Tower, the Paris attacks. It's all the same machination. It's all the same players and the same people involved, whether that's directly or, or ambiguously by association and compromise and unbelief. Um, let's, let's get to uh, scripture, uh, Amos. So church is separate from uh, state religion, and the Pope cannot be a Christian because he's not set. He he he's like a a, a chief component of the European Union. This is why we never get out of. Uh, we never be allowed to be on the ape from Europe because it is the design of, of the Pope. It's all a machination of these powers who um, orchestrate, they orchestrate, they've got their hands over the shoulders of, of powers, over the tables, and, and they operate and control and make things happen that, that they want to happen and steer the ball wherever they want it to go. And uh, that's the devil. And that's because of unbelief, because people have not received Jesus Christ, haven't received that power over, over sin and over the power of Satan, over the nature of the beast. And the only way to receive that victory is receiving the precious blood, blood the atoning blood of the Lord, of God, of Jesus Christ. You receive that, you've been given the victory. You've been given the victory over this over this evil world, over the, over yourself, over your own fallen nature, over your own sin and over the world. And the truth sets you free because once you've got the truth you can see in clear focus or in 
we see darkly but we can put the pieces together by other people's work, other people's testimonies, other people's knowledge that's been left for us but by the word of God, by study. We can see clearly who the enemies are. We have the scriptures, we have the light, we have the word of God. Amos 3, uh, verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? Well, no, of course they can't. They're going to argue a bit bicker. You're going to get friction and you're not going to get on. You're going to be content, get contention. I know, I live with um, my unsafe father. It's, it's vexing and it's, um, it's not right. A Christian doesn't mix with a non Christian. Uh, although Christians are, are, can still sin, a Christian's not living for the world or, or sin, it's living for Christ. It's, um, it's being purchased to, to live for the, the gospel, for the heart, mind and mercy and will of God, which is Jesus Christ, to share the gospel, to share the good news. With the bad news that if you don't believe, you, you will perish in unbelief forever, because God's created you forever. Um, to exist, he's created you for life. And death isn't life. And death's forever, because life's forever, because God's forever. So if you haven't got life, you'll die in your death. You'll die in sin. You'll die in unbelief, and you'll be stuck there, and you'll be a fool. You'll be feeling like a fool forever, and you'll be no end to your torment. That's a horrible fall. That's a scary fall. So, if it, 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 you can mock, you can you can ignore it. Like that is it. Once you receive and know the Lord Jesus Christ, you know that that is a, a certainty that if you die in your sin, you will you will perish forever. And God does not delight in the death of any person of any sinner. He died to save all men. But His word is is true and sure, and it's sealed. He can't, he can't, he's bound by his word and he's, he's appropriated, he's completed his salvation. You ignore that, it, it's, it's like the electricity has been switched on live. He's not going to switch it on now, he's warned. Don't, don't, you know, don't touch that without protection, otherwise you'll fry. If you're not saved, if, you, if you've not received life from the life giver, from the Father sending his son to die. If you've not received the gift of eternal life given freely through the grace of Jesus Christ and then you're dead and you'll go into the lake of fire forever. Um, and these, Catholic, these, these, these Catholics aren't, the Catholic Church aren't Christians. Um, I don't believe in persecuting any Catholic or burning any effigies. I simply uh, disagree, I want to contend, contend for the faith as Jude, uh, as it says in Jude um, verse, verse 3 Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. That's what I'm trying to do um, here for against uh, Roman Catholicism and, and the world's presumptuous notion of what Christianity is with the, with the simple gospel, with the truth. And it's just to believe uh, repentance towards God and faith in Jesus Christ to, to be saved and to receive our salvation. And the church is, uh, the, the, as a pope, is not the face of Christianity, he's an imposter. And if he was a Christian, he would remain separate, as we've just read in Amos. Can two walk, can two walk together and be agreed? Can two, two that aren't agreed walk together? Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter, uh, chapter 6. This is what the Lord says, this is what the Holy Spirit says, this is what God's preserved. <coughs> Excuse me, word says. Um, where are starting first? Uh, 14, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be 
Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Infidel means an, an unbeliever, an unbeliever. And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? Uh, for ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So God is expressly making it clear that uh, he indwells a believer, which is the church, and the, and the church believer, body of believer, with God indwelling in them, remains separate from idols, from the world, from the world system, from the world's powers, from the world's politics, and the world's idea of religion. That's why Christians are persecuted. That's why King James is discredited. That's why the King James Bible is attacked. That's why Christianity and creation are attacked. That's why science is used falsely against Christianity. That's why the Godhead is attacked. That's why the Trinity is attacked. That's why people are put off by Christianity, because you've got the fake, false body, the whore, the harlot, parading up and down the street, uh, swinging her handbag and tarted up in her war paint and makeup, posing as, as, as Christians. Uh, this is uh, a false notion, and it will rob the world of salvation if they hold to, if they claim to be a Christian and hold to it, and it will put the world off. It will make it harder for the gospel to be preached, and, and the, the world will become hardened because the wicked become predominant, and that predominant is inbred, it breeds in. Uh, unbelief breeds in, corruption breeds in to the generations to come, apathy breeds in. Uh, disassociation breathes in, sin is corruption, sin is through unbelief, and through unbelief we have a corrupt DNA, and, through, and it's become ripe, it's become uh, unredeemable by mankind itself, by any means to, to sustain itself without the way it's, the evil machination is going, which is to to bring all the world into subjection by lies and deception. And God's going to allow it, God is going to judge, and God is going to bring about this um, judgment, he said it in uh, Second Peter. And that's the warning to the Catholics to come out of the Catholic Church um, and, and to the world to, to have a change of mind, to, to seek earnestly and uh, contritely the Lord Jesus Christ to seek the living God and, and know him and believe him because if you don't believe him you're not going to receive him and if you don't if you haven't if you don't know God what's your excuse what do you believe then and what is the agreement in in everyone that is is not in belief because that leaves everyone disagreed in unbelief does it not uh, and that, that that's the wisdom of God. You need to know the Lord. You need to know what the truth is to know what is not true. And because the world is in unbelief, it can't doesn't it, it, it can't figure out it can't join the dots of the the, the, the Catholic Church being the enemy. It's, it's like this dear little man in a white skirt who parades around in religious garb as a good do gooder. Well, if people fall for that puppet theatre, you can just imagine the powers of the, of the delusion, deception of, of the forces of this world upon the human race. And God's going to allow, it says in uh, Thessalonians, uh, that God will pour out a strong delusion because people uh, didn't believe in his son. And God has judged and he, that the point, the consequence will become ripened, it will become realised, it will come to pass what God has done and what man has not done, 
were admitted to do, and that's repent and believe. Because if, if the world would have believed, we, we would have all been saved. We would have saved the planet, we would have saved mankind, we would have saved civilization, as it's so called. Because of unbelief, the world's going to go into judgment, and God's going to allow the wicked to judge the wicked. And the world's going to, going to accept an anti-Messiah, a saviour of, of the world. And that's going to be housed by the most powerful um, fallen creature in, in heaven, and that's Lucifer, that's the devil. And he's going to lead the world into, deceive the world, and lead them into judgment. And that's God's judgment, allowing the world to be deceived because of unbelief. And the world will start believing this, that, and the other. It's going to be, God's going to pour out a stronger delusion. Technology is going to get more powerful, more sophisticated, and control thoughts, control dreams, control. You're being led around by uh, sat navs at the moment. Think, think of what advanced technology could is going to do with all these other components in place and working and being utilised. The world's going to be brought a yoke to this powerful, powerful beast. And this beast is going to have a, a lawful um, dictator at the top, bringing the world into judgement. And then Israel are going to be under fire and attack. The, pe the, the people of Israel, not, not the corruption within surrounding Israel and, and trying to get its uh, you know, uh, fingers in the pie. I, I'm on about the, the seed of Israel, the, 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 the Lord's going to deliver from the, from the judgment and, and those who are not going to accept the mark of the beast, the condition of living a life in this delusion, in this new world order that's coming, that will come, because it's already been here, it's been it's been on the earth since, since time itself. It's been trying to establish itself and God's going to allow it because mankind has chosen it through unbelief. And that judgment is going to um, approach him. And God judged the world with a flood. And, um, and in the end, he's going to judge it with fire. Uh, I find the scripture. I think it's chapter two. Um, I was reading the wrong chapter. It's chapter three, Second Peter, chapter three. Uh, knowing this first, that the earth shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lusts. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things conti continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heaven were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with waters, perished overflowed with water perished, that the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. And that's what's approaching, that's what that's the uh, times and consequence of unbelief and the consequence of these religious men um, having the dominance, having the parade of the gospel and uh, and what that has done not only to the believer who who comes unto Christ because it affects you know it, 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 affect, it affects everybody it has an effect on non-believers and believers alike and traditions are, are carried on and picked up and held to and uh, yeah, the believer must go by the scriptures, the, the believer's final authority is in the word of God and that's what this uh, day really commemorates, the uh, protection of King James, the deliverance of King James and, and, and the preservation of the King James Holy Bible which, is, which I'm thankful for and I'm thankful for all those uh, 
uh, I can't be thankful enough for all those people and all um, everything I've received since I've been delivered and saved. And all those people that perished to bring forth uh, a precious, rather neglected. It's a tragedy, it's neglected and it's brushed over and it's simple. It's a free gift from God's heart. It's God's son, it's his life given up and it's preserved. And King James is a believer. I, believe, I don't care what anyone says, I believe by his free. We have the preservation of the word and people die for that. And not many people die for the NIV or the SIT or whatever. This, that, uh, and the NAQ and the BB Baloney, whatever that, all, all these versions um, are really counter to the King James Bible, like the whole world is counter to the King James Bible. Um, everything in Hollywood is against uh, Christ and the King James Bible, not the Bible teaches the Gospel. And it just teaches the free gift of salvation and, and eternal life and the love of God. What, what possible harm is that going to do to anyone? Well, it exposes evil and gives people freedom and it shows the whole world under condemnation and judgment and corrupt and lies and tyrannies. And if you're uh, an unbeliever, you're part of that. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you're set free and delivered from that, and you're in heaven. You're going to heaven, you're delivered from wrath and judgment. But if you're an unbeliever, you have a chance to escape the uh, wrath and outpouring of God. If that time comes in our lifetime, or if any judgments come, any consequences, any actions come, that, that could possibly take your life, <coughs> from here on, whenever, if you die in your sin, you'll perish in your sin, you'll go to hell, and uh, nobody, I certainly don't like the thought of that for anybody, no matter what, what they've done, because that could have been, that could have been me, and, and that's, that's potentially my loved ones, that's potentially my neighbours, that's potentially most people I've met in life. Um, how uh, how can that be avoided? I don't know, except through those people believing. Um, I believe, and that's what I I stress this day as a, a remembrance of uh, to remember that and uh, to remember the enemy, uh, Pope Pinocchio, Pope Jedi. Francis the Jesuit, the uh, tyrannous um, world leader, who's the head of the Vatican, the head of the, his own empire. He, he's got a chief seat in the European Union and um, you know, makes executive decisions, he has exe executive power. Uh, world leaders bow down to him and kiss him and uh, fear him. And he's a heretic and a liar and a, and, and a devil, you know. And they will go to hell. They, they, the, the, the perdition of ungodly men. The day, you know, the, the judgment of these men in perdition. Uh, these wicked men that can that could uh, be saved and set a load of people free, but they continue their lies and machinations, and. Uh, down themselves to, uh, to eternal hell, to the, uh, the lowest place for the blood that's been spilled. Um, and if you don't believe me, uh, the word of God's clear revelation, I, I mean, there's nobody else that fits. Um, and I'm talking about the, the whole the whole thing, the whole power, the whole establishment, not necessarily individuals. And uh, like I say, I'm not against persecuting any Catholics, any, any person, any, any human being. It's just to offer them um, mercy and forgiveness of their sin and salvation. 
because nobody's worthy of nobody's worthy. So everybody has the right to have the opportunity to be saved and forgiven, and that's that's the Pope included, and the Jesuits and all those uh, apostate false Catholics and. Uh, all those uh, false Christians who, all the goats who profess to be Christian and in bed with this fool, harlot. Um, uh, Revelation 18, and I'll wrap it up. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of the saints, and of all, all that was slain upon the earth. If you read the, the whole chapter, uh, the Whore of Babylon, uh, Babylon the Great, the Mother of Harlots. And that's our final four. For by, uh, for by thy sorceries, this is the last verse, uh, 23, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And in her was found the blood of prophets. So the power is the powers, and those powers today are working through that organisation. Uh, in the day of the prophets it was uh, that power, that principality was there, but it was working through a different um, physical lump. And then it was working in Christ's day, it was working through Rome and the, and the Jews. And then um, today it works through the machinations of all, all the evil men and conspiratorial powers on the earth. The whole world, anyone who's um, of this world is against Christ. And in her was found the blood of prophets and of the saints and all those that were slain upon the earth. So all, all the blood, all the wars, all the lies could have been resolved from the day that Jesus Christ rose from the grave. And, um, set, and the gospel was preached and Christ ascended to the right hand of God and the gospel was um, preached around the world but it was uh, denied and rejected and it was feared because it, it exposed all this evil, all this corruption and tyranny so it's been attacked from the beginning and those powers are today still on the earth and that is the Roman Catholic Church for by the sort of thy sorceries were all nations deceived, and in was found the blood of prophets, of the saints, and of those that were slain upon the earth. So all, all, all the current machinations, the uh, false flag attacks, the world wars, and the, through the masons, the bringing down of the World Trade Center, all these wicked conspiratorial games all lead to the same place to the same body, to the same powers, and the associations of those powers, and how it all operates in the power of Satan, it has power over men's hearts because of unbelief, and uh, the judgement will come on the earth, and uh, there's an opportunity to escape that, and, uh, and know this for yourself and be saved and free. So I want to wrap up my um, bonfire commemoration night and the, um, just read, just leave you a, a, a bit of a ramble of the act in uh, 1605. It was passed. Um, many, this is just a few lines because if you want to read the act you can find it on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, I couldn't find, I haven't researched this deeply, but uh, there must be a version of the full, the full text of what the original um, notes were, what the original uh, established uh, writing was. Many malignant and devilish papists, Jesuits and semin seminary priests uh, much envying and fearing conspired most horribly and then it goes on to say against King James and his house and his wife, the Queen and his court and, and how they knew and how they mention in the act it's to 
the malignant, devilish papist, that's the Roman Catholic order, the Jesuit, the Jesuit priesthood, that's the, the Pope's secret army, secret left arm, his uh, covert arm, his um, Inspector Clouseau, who, you know, he's got many disguises, it can dress up, it, it's got uh, influence, it's... Um, an ear in all, all ears, it's a finger in all pies, it, it's a, a wicked conspiratorial group of men who swear oath secretly, a lot like Freemasonry, a lot like Mormonism, it's all the same Gnostic hidden secret works of evil. And that was written, written in the original act and passed in Parliament to remind the, you know, it didn't have to do it, but he did, King James, to remind the British, the Great Britain, the heritage, and to remind them forever who the enemy is. So today we're living in an ungrateful, unbelieving, self-serving Great Britain who lies. He's got his fingers crossed behind his back and does what it's like. That's the Britain you want to be part of, you're welcome to it. You know, I hold to, to, to King James, to all, all the good that has come from all the bad through life, you know, and that's solely through the grace of God through the grace of my Saviour, through the grace of Jesus Christ, and all those people that served good, that served him, that died for him, that laid their lives down, to contend against this, uh, to stand for the gospel, to stand for the faith, and to stand against the, the wicked lies and the, the cheap tricks of the Roman Catholic Church, and, and just to express my sadness of, uh, the, you know, the ignorance of the British people, they don't want to know. They don't want to know Christ, therefore they don't want to know what the law is, they don't want to know our history, they don't want to know who the enemy is, therefore they're not going to see it, therefore we're in trouble. So if you've got any sense, you've got any ears, you've got any eyes, I'd, I'm inviting you to to seek out the Lord, to fear God and, and uh, turn your back on that rubbish and receive Christ, receive salvation and love and hope and the and free gift of eternal life uh, today um, as you are and it just takes a sincere believer to call in to the Lord for mercy in, 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 in contrition and, and fear and to d desire that, that that salvation to ask for it sincerely and humbly and God will um, answer the sincere uh, believer in faith who believes and calls upon him and believes in Jesus Christ. That's my invitation to escape and receive that hope that I've received, that joy and that peace of mind in a turbulent wicked world that's getting more wicked and uh, and I doubt that the wicked notice because they're too busy in the new, the new gadget or the new fad or whatever's the new thing that the world's media are drawing your attention to. The next, uh, the next distraction to keep you from what's really going on before your eyes. But we're in captivity to the, uh, the Roman Catholic powers through their machinations. We are cattle. The Jews are blamed. All these are uh, the, the Jews are blamed for it, uh, for the conspiracy. Well, it's, a, it's a, the Catholic Church and the powers behind that, and those Jews that um, work for them. But that's not all of the Jewish people. That's not the Jewish nation. That's just um, a few Jews who um, like the Pope's scapegoat, if you like, you know, just like the, um, the Pope's, uh, the Satan's uh, puppet and, uh, you know, trying to make, make others the scapegoat um, and persecutes the real, the real people who speak out against him under the ignorant, uh, the, under the noses of the ignorant uh, world who celebrate 
uh, bonfire night, not really knowing the true significance and the perils that the country faces. And uh, it's going to get worse. It's not ever going to get any better because the Lord Jesus Christ is being rejected. His word of God's been mocked. And, it, and the world's turned its back. What can God do that he hasn't already done? It's up to the world to do it. It's up to every individual to do that for themselves. And that time, I, I, I can only see it passing. It's, it, it seems quite uh, oppressive. It seems quite um, almost few, becoming, f I dare say it, futile. Um, it seems that the world's never been a, you know, you know um, it's getting to, a, evil's getting to that point where it can't go any further, but the, the um, one world order, the beast system, the mark of the beast, the 666, that, is, that seems to be the uh, approaching fast. So the Lord's return is uh, approaching. It's now, it's um, at the door, it's uh, imminent. Uh, so I'd like to encourage anyone to look, keep looking up and to rejoice in that hope, in you know, that blessed hope, and to, you know, um, keep going in the faith and uh, keep, it, keep yourself clean and your heart purified in that hope in the world and confessing your sins and looking to that hope and sharing the gospel sharing that hope in these dark dark hours these these approaching times these uncertain times and, and, and um, you know give thanks and pray for the world pray for the uh, gospel to be heard and received by those who will receive the gospel and that we have peace, we're not like thrown into chaos through wars and machinations. So I'm going to close the, my commemorative uh, video for November the 5th to remember the 5th of November and uh, God will do it for uh, I'm here next year, I'll do, I'll do them next year. And I'm going to close it and, and wish everybody well. Um, Maranatha, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.